Let's move on to conference championship previews. Niners at the Eagles. The Link hosting the NFC championship game. Uh, expect the Link to be absolutely rocking. The last uh, last time these teams met in the playoffs, 1996. But this is the Jalen Hurts and Brock Purdy rematch. And uh, they weren't even born yet in 96, which uh, makes me feel extremely old. Yep. Uh, the youngest QB matchup in NFC Championship game history. They definitely played in college. And uh, that was an electric game. Looked like Oklahoma had them the entire game. And then Purdy got pretty good late in the game and almost had a, uh, a big-time comeback. Goes for two late in the game and uh, yeah. does not get it. And uh, I believe that's how they lost the game. But, um, yeah, offense versus defense. That's what they're saying. The Eagles offense versus the the Niners defense. And uh, the Eagles finished with the top offense in the NFC as the uh, Niners finished with the top defense in the NFC in terms of points per game and, uh, yeah, yards per game. George Kittle says it's going to be cold and violent. And that's George's game. Very violent. A lot of uh, in-your-face football and just physicality. Um Cold? I don't know if it's going to be cold. Yeah, what they, is technically cold? I feel like cold is like it's negative. Like, you know, they're in California. It's going to be like a high of fifty on Sunday, supposedly. But, so I don't, but George it ain't going to be that cold. He went to he went to Iowa, grew up around Oklahoma. Yeah, but he's been in California the last few years. He, he he's gotten used but to that Cali North Cal. Way. Well, I don't even know what North Cal temp is, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that cold. I was about to say forties, fifties. That's that's, good that's, football that's perfect. Right that's some good football yeah. weather right that there. That just means I'm not going to get tired. That's all that means. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Got to get excited for the matchup, man. Big tight end you matchup, baby. Dallas Goddard versus George Kittle. The original tight end you. Ooh. Mm. I ain't mad at that matchup. It'll be fun to watch. Niners got 12 straight wins. Uh does that uh, play into it at all? I mean, are you obviously you're not thinking about a lot of what the other team's doing, kind of focused on more of what your team is doing and your team's capable of doing, but how are we feeling going into this week? Yeah, I mean, listen, no matter who you're playing in the NFC Championship, you're going to be playing a really, really good team. And, uh, you know, they're a really good team. They're good across the board. I think up until this point you see teams and they have really good players, but there's obviously weaknesses here and there. And, uh, when you look at the Niners, it's hard to find that. Ain't no weaknesses, man. They are good across the board, especially on defense. They got a defensive line that's pretty much as good as anybody in the league. They got a set of linebackers that fly around. I mean, Warner is all over the field. Uh, Greenlaw is an unbelievable player. I mean, their their DBs are all over the place. Their safeties are down in the box quick. Um, I mean, they are about as complete of a roster as you're going to see. Uh, and offensively, they're great too. So, yeah, we got our we got our hands full. It's going to be a great battle at the link, um, and you wouldn't want it any other way. I mean, this is this is what playoff football is about. You know, I still, as every game, you always focus on yourselves. And you know, we played a great game last game, took care of the football, made limited mistakes. Um, you know, we really played a, we didn't kill ourselves, and. Um, you know, I think we have a great roster too. And I just, you know, we just, you got to go into it uh, playing good football, having aggression, playing physical, playing hard, and uh, and know that the opponent you're playing is going to be giving it everything they got too. So it's going to be a fun one for sure. Yeah, it's going to be an action-packed day on Championship Sunday, man. Got two great games. Um, and I can't wait to see how you guys, uh, how you guys attack them and how you guys play against the Niners, man. I know they were yeah. a tough team when we played them. Those guys fly around on defense, man. So, uh, yeah, best of luck to you, big dog. Yeah. You got any pointers? You got to be able to run the ball. Run the ball uh, opens up everything. Listen, don't, don't um, say any of this stuff. I think just, that, tell, uh, just say you're going to tell I me behind the camera. If you, don't say anything on average. Give it to me all off the camera. All right, all right. Ask me again. Ask me again. I'll, hey, uh, you got any pointers? You got to be able to run the ball against them. Oh my! Gosh. That opens up the play action. Will you stop? <laughs> it's football, man. I'm sure Sirianni's got it all, got it all schemed up, man. Yeah. All right, let's talk about your game. Bengals at the Chiefs. Uh, yeah, better send those refunds. There will be no neutral site AFC Championship game. What a liner by Joey Burrow, man. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, was this the one you guys – I mean, obviously, whether it's the Bengals or the Bills, you're facing a tough opponent. 
the only two, well, two of the only teams that beat you during the season, along with the Colts. You know, obviously, if the Bills would have won, you would have had to play a neutral site down in Atlanta. Now you guys get to play another game in Arrowhead. Uh, was this what you were kind of hoping was be able to finish it off in front of your home crowd, or yeah, uh, were you even uh, focused on that? I mean, I obviously had uh, hopes that we'd be able to play another game in Kansas City in front of Arrowhead, um, get that home field advantage that we worked so hard for in the uh, the regular season, and um, yeah, and then on top of that, play uh, one of the best teams in the National Football League, and they're playing their best football right now. And yep. that's a that's a challenge I get excited for, especially because they've gotten the better of us the last three matchups, and uh, they're very confident and um, have made it known that uh, that they think that they're the the big dog in the in the AFC. Um, and you know, it's uh, like I said, man, it's exciting. It's exciting. I cannot fucking wait till Sunday kickoff starts, and uh, and we can go out there and uh, prove to ourselves who we are. Um, yeah. Because I think we're. Uh, we're pretty fired up that we're playing the, our best football heading into this game as well. Well, you guys have been playing your best football for a while now. The Chiefs are making their fifth straight appearance in the AFC Championship. That is incredible. Like it's five crazy, straight man. AFC Championship games. How many of those have been in Arrowhead? All of them? All five. That is crazy. Talk about success, man. Um. But yeah, you guys, if there's one team you guys have struggled with, it is Cincinnati. And this is a rematch of not only week 13 from this year, but also last year's AFC Championship rematch. Yeah. Um, Joey Burrow, 3-0. and um, Yeah, how are you feeling? What are you guys doing? We talk about rivalries. It feels like this one's been building to be a rivalry. But let's be honest, it ain't a rivalry unless you win sometimes. And right now, the... Cincinnati's been doing most of the winning. So what 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 are you guys going to try and do to combat to actually come out on top this time? My first thing is I uh, can't turn the ball over, especially in the fourth quarter. Um, I think we all remember that. Uh, are you alluding to something? That football that I had, we yep. uh, I felt like we had him in the bag until I did that and uh, changed the complete, uh, not only the momentum of the game, but the ended up putting them in a situation where they had the upper hand. And uh, yeah, I, I screwed I screwed the team doing that one, but um. They that's played a good game too, thing. though. That's going to be Come the biggest now. thing. No, I mean, hats off to them, you know. But I, I, yeah. I, I look at the game and how I could make uh, a better impact or how I can help my team to. win, and that's that's where I, you know, I hang my hat at the end of the day. And um, I'm going to be out there playing my tail off, knowing that I. Uh, that's what happened last time I played these guys is I let my team down, and uh, I said it before uh, throughout the year when you don't play your best against a team. Um, it just makes you for that much more fired up to be able to go out there and kick some ass, man. And um, like I said, man, I'm just I'm, I'm geared up. I'm getting antsy in the seat just talking about it. 